Everybody's moving. K-H-O-U is grooving. Great day! And now, here's your host, Deborah Duncan. Welcome back to Great Day Houston. During therapy sessions, Dr. Shana D. Lewis noticed that several clients were seeking help in dealing with domestic violence, or what we also call intimate partner violence. It happens in every community, no matter what your socioeconomic status is. She founded the organization Her Voice, and this year, men are also speaking up as part of the Real Men Wear Purple campaign. Dr. Lewis joins us along with State Representative Ron Reynolds this morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, Dr. Lewis, do you remember, was it, was it one case in particular that finally clicked in you and you said, I have to do more beyond giving therapy sessions. I have to create an organization to get a bigger voice. Actually, there were three women, Deborah, in about a one year time span. And each of their stories was so different from different walks of life, different socioeconomic statuses and stories were still all tragic. And I was just lost. And I didn't know how to help as a helper. And I realized I had to do something different. So it was because of those three women that I had to do something different. It's interesting, 100 years ago this year, wife beating was actually made illegal in all states. And so even though that happened 100 years ago, it still takes a while for people to catch up because for many years, it was seen as a private family matter. Absolutely, I mean, the legal system sanctioned this, women did not have voices, men were, uh, there was a rule of thumb um, law where he could uh, beat his wife as long as the rod he used was no bigger than his thumb, um, things were private. So women, we've had a long fight to get to the place where we can stand up and say that this is not okay. Um, I'm just excited that now we get to include men in that conversation to change the narrative. Yeah, and Representative Reynolds, uh, you are the keynote speaker at the event we'll talk about in just a minute, but this is something that's very personal to you. It hits home with you. Absolutely. Uh, we've been very transparent. My wife is a survivor. Uh, she was once uh, in a relationship that she experienced domestic violence, and we believe in speaking truth to power, and it shouldn't just be women that are speaking against it. Men who are unfortunately usually the ones that are in the position of of strength where they think that they can control and they are the ones that uh, commit the domestic violence. Real men need to speak up to say, no, it is not make you a real man. It really makes you a coward and that we need to make sure that we're speaking against something that happens far too often each and every day, often in silence where it's unreported. So real men need to stand up and say no more to domestic violence. And when it happens in silence, unreported, people think out of sight, out of mind, or people will think, well, that's not my family. It impacts all of us. Harris County is number one in Texas for deaths due to uh, domestic violence. And also uh, what we need to look at is the number one reason for women being homeless. So we're all impacted by this. Absolutely, it is all of our issue. Domestic violence is a family violence issue. So women are impacted, children are impacted, entire families are destroyed, Deborah, as a result. And everyone needs to be a part of the solution. So I'm so excited that we have created this campaign to make sure men's voices are heard to eradicate domestic violence. Yeah, it's one of those things that if you have never been in it, you don't understand. It was one of my early relationships and I kept thinking to myself, what am I doing wrong? Uh, there are all kinds of reasons why people may find themselves as the abuser or the abused. Uh, a lot of it is family of origin. Yeah, there's a lot of research that shows that women or boys who grow up in homes where there is domestic violence are more at risk for either being victimized or becoming perpetrators themselves. So it is definitely um, a, a, an at-risk factor for children. Um, we wanna make sure that as parents, we're providing homes where they are loved and they're not exposed to violence and things like that. They're gonna impact their decisions and choices later. So this is one of the reasons why we are huge at her voice about education and prevention. Yeah, Representative Reynolds in Texas, we know that certain states kind of have different personalities. It took certain states a while to catch up, uh, but how are the laws in this state when it comes to domestic violence? If somebody makes that phone call? Well, we, we have made some, some, some significant strides. I wanna thank uh, Representative Sophronia Thompson. Uh, she's been a champion in filing legislation that finally uh, was able to be passed where well, we are very uh, strict in terms of severe, in terms of punishment. Uh, but I want to stress this, 
since COVID-19, unfortunately, domestic violence has really escalated. And so unfortunately, talking to District Attorney Kim Ogg and District Attorney Brian Middleton, we've seen a significant increase. So people need to be more aware that domestic violence is taking place uh, during this pandemic, maybe because of stress, other factors, but there's no excuse for it. If you see something, say something. And I'm told by the district attorneys that they will vigorously pursue uh, those people who are perpetuating domestic violence and it would not be tolerated. So kudos to her boys for standing up for survivors and giving them a platform to be able to come and, and be liberated and also to share their experiences so that other people can get help. Yeah. And Dr. Lewis, we know that sometimes we see this also in same sex marriages and relationships. We also see it sometimes where the man is the one who is the abused person. It's interesting. My son was talking about this in school once when he was in sixth grade. And he goes, I know we should never hit a woman. He goes, but we also need to teach that we just shouldn't hit at all. No one should hit at all. Right. Absolutely. I mean, statistics will show that 85 percent of victims of violence in relationships are women about 15 percent that we know of are men probably an under underreported number for a lot of reasons but it is an issue that we need to teach children young how to resolve conflict how to deal with emotions how to ask for what you need as opposed to using violence as an uh, as a tool we need to learn how to teach them different ways to handle their uh, yeah. issues tell us about the virtual gala I'm so excited. So this year, due to COVID-19, we are doing a Real Men Wear Purple virtual gala, our first virtual gala. This campaign is for 11 men across the, uh, the, the, the country who have agreed to stand up in a social media campaign. They're posting um, daily. They're sharing their voices. They're telling people, hey, it is not okay. And so on October 25th at 2 p.m., we're having a free virtual gala. Um, you can visit realmenwearpurple.com to get information to support these men's campaign and get a free ticket to the event. All right, Dr. Lewis, thank you so much. Representative Reynolds, thank you so much. All right, general admission is free and VIP tickets are $25. That gets you in the silent auction early. For more information, visit her-voice.net. If you're in a violent relationship and you need help, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline. That number is 800-799-SAFE. That works out to be 1-800-799-7233.